civilization. They were self-sufficient, hunting and trapping alone until the oil companies came and set up oil rigs on their homeland and wiped out their trap lines. Well, Lubicon had not signed any treaties. They had lived there from time immemorial. And now they find that their very lives are very much in peril. Yeah, this is the story of the Lubicon Nation and Native people in Canada where greed destroyed their land and livelihood all in the name of all in the name of civilization Well, this injustice should not be allowed to continue in a free Canada where human rights should be respected, not destroyed to make a buck. 60 years of not 60 years of negotiating for a settlement, endless cart battles, heartaches, and grief has left the Lubicon case still unresolved to the advantage of the Tuberculosis still births poison, air, and water. No money and no settlement. For what? This was all done to the Lubicon in about a dozen years. It's really sickening. That's what the Lubicon needed a just and fair settlement which will respect their human rights and which will leave the land intact and alive so that they can begin again. Yeah, this is the story of the Lubicon Nation and Native people in Canada where creed destroyed their land and livelihood all in the name of all in the name of civilization until 1979 just a generation ago they lived off of the land they cared for it and it was good to them the land which they never signed away